Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Um, this is a follow-up video to the video I made about why I quit streaming. Um, I was wrong why I quit streaming. Just completely wrong. Um, so where do we start? From the beginning, I suppose? Um, I made that video probably a month ago, a month and a half ago now. Just, like, trying to explain why I quit streaming. And it was a terrible, terrible idea because I wasn't still in a good headspace to say why I quit streaming. Because to be totally honest, I don't know why I felt unmotivated to not stream at all. Because I love streaming, it's a lot of fun. So, after that, you know, I streamed every once in a while here and there. But there was never, I never had like, I never felt like me. I never had my comedic value. I just felt like a bum. I was being a bum. And I was sitting there thinking about it. And I'm like, maybe I have something wrong with me. Turns out I did. Um, not super serious. I'm not medically gonna die. I don't have AIDS or cancer or anything like that. So, hey, shout out to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That is this month. Support it. Uh, besides that, um, went to the doctor last week, and because it was getting bad, like I was having terrible short-term memory loss. Like I forget things that normal people would just be like, like put on autopilot, as as the doctor put it. Like you know where my keys were, and little things like that here and there, that normal people would just know where that was, or like remember it instantly. I, if I didn't think about it constantly, I'd forget about it instantly. Like, I could have a conversation with somebody and be like, uh, they, for example, they'd ask, how are you doing? I'd be like, oh shit, what did you, what'd you say? And then I'd be like, good. You know, that's how bad, it was getting bad. And the roommate the guy I lived with was starting to notice it. It was it was getting terribly bad. And long story short, I just said, fuck it. I went to the doctor and we sat down for like an hour. Kind of chatted it up about the situation. And I the only reason I went to the doctor was because I was like, this could be a fucking brain tumor. I don't want to die. So I was like, I'll go. I didn't think that's what it was. But obviously, better to check than not to. So I go, whatever. We get to chatting back and forth. And she's like... I was diagnosed with ADHD in high school, like, not really the hyper part of so much as the the uh, attention deficit part. I was always terrible about paying attention in high school, unless I had tons and tons of caffeine. Well, the reason why is because I have ADHD and I have it really badly. So I went to the doctor and we talked about the situation. She said, what do you want to do? Well, I was like, is there anything medically we could do to fix this situation? She said, yes, I'm going to prescribe you Adderall. Now, I know what you're thinking. Study drug. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> Drugs. No. No, no, no. Not the reason I take Adderall. I do now take Adderall, and I can confirm I feel just a thousand times better. For me personally, if you take Adderall as a party drug or use it as a recreational thing, it will fuck you up. Adderall, surprisingly, I was extremely hesitant, and I will explain why. I grew up around people that were very, very pill-happy. They loved pills, they loved taking pills, they loved uppers, downers, wherever they could get their hands on. They offered me Adderall in high school, but I didn't give a shit. I was like, fuck that, I'm not gonna get somebody addicted to Adderall as well. That's too big of a risk for me. Um, so I didn't take it. And having it now, and realizing what it can do, and how it is not a potent drug used properly and in fact it's an amazing drug used properly as most are but used in a like pill form swallow it through your mouth do not snort the powder out of it it's a great fucking drug it, i take the slow release kind it goes over about six to twelve hours if you snort it it'll give you an immediate dopamine release and that's what people you know obviously crave well, so that's why I was extremely hesitant. I'm like, well, what the fuck is it going to do to my brain? Because obviously it affects your brain. Well, to explain it in a short way, the way I make serotonin and dopamine compared to a regular person is completely different. Like, my body does not produce enough for me to to pay attention and have, like, energy in the day. Like, like I was showing signs of just straight-up depression, which I don't have anything to be depressed about, which was weird. And I'm sure... Anybody that watches the stream kind of started to notice that. I just didn't want to do anything. I was laying in my bed a lot, taking naps all the time. I didn't want to wake up in the morning. I'd sleep till 2, 2 p.m. I was being a complete utter piece of shit, to be honest. And, like, people thought I was depressed. I'm like, I, to be totally honest, I thought I was depressed. I was like, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. I must be just depressed. Um, turns out my 
ADHD caught up to me. Um, for the past, like, probably four to five years, I've been, I take pre-workout to go to the gym, which is, I would probably drink, a, uh, like, a, a sugar-free energy drink throughout the day, and that would push me through the day. That would get me enough energy to get through the day without mentally just not crashing, and I quit that. I quit completely, like, no pre-workout. I'll drink coffee here and there, like, if I need it, absolutely need it. Like, a cup in the morning, I guess. But I, like, since starting Adderall, I don't need it. I really don't. I mean, I'll drink one here and there just to, like, boost myself if I'm really tired. My body's, like, kill me. Because, you know, Adderall does do that. Your brain will keep going, and your body will just be like, no. <laughs> it happened yesterday. So that is the only side effect so far I've had. But, uh, yeah, back to being hesitant. Uh, I talked to her about it. She's like, yeah, you can take Adderall as much as you want. Obviously, don't take more than one a day. She's like, unless you're in a low dose. I'm at a, quite a high dose. I'm at 20 milligrams. I'm double the regular dose of a regular person that would get Adderall. And to be totally honest with this, it's life-changing. I cannot believe how well it worked. Um, I do have a heart condition called myocardiovascular angina, so I have to be somewhat careful because it can affect your heart over time. Adderall, that is. And I don't need any extra help fucking up my heart. So yeah, pre-workout was saving me as well as energy drinks through high school, and I quit all that about four months ago, and that's when I saw a really hard dip in like my activity... The way I talk to people, I couldn't speak correctly, I didn't want to play video games, I just wanted to sleep, my YouTube videos kind of sucked to me. To be totally honest, everything sucked. I couldn't find interest in anything. And the reason being was because my ADHD was kicking the living shit out of me. I literally looked like I wanted to kill myself, it was so bad. Um, so this is a little update. Uh, for the situation prior, in case you watched the video previously, however long ago I made it, just know, um, we're back to business as usual. I feel great. This is the best I've ever felt. This is life-changing. Please, 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 if you think you have ADHD, go get checked out. Don't wait like I did. And I'll be totally honest, I really didn't even want to go to the doctor because I thought they were just going to bullshit me. But, uh... Now, knowing what I have and what I should have done a long time ago, I recommend it to everybody that thinks they have ADHD. Make sure you you 100% need the drugs, though. Please, please, please do not get yourself addicted to Adderall like an idiot because of what I'm saying. I don't condone recreational pill popping. Um, yeah, just be careful, and that's this video. I appreciate you uh, getting the second part of it. Um, so I guess just straight up ignore that first video, because in that first video I said I just didn't find fun in streaming anymore because of the way I was acting. And that's very true, I didn't, but now being that I feel good again, I feel like I'm alive, I don't feel like I'm gonna fucking die anytime soon, just know that streams will be happening more frequently. For sure, I would like to get back to it. More YouTube videos come out. I just didn't have the motivation because I didn't have any dopamine in my brain. So just so everybody knows, I'm I'm back to the normal shit. I don't have a schedule for streaming. I'm trying to get a job. We're trying to move apartments right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. But I for sure want to start getting back into more streaming. I don't know what YouTube videos will come out. Um, I'm working on a truck build right now, so there might be videos on that. But just know... VODs will start showing back up on YouTube. Uh, probably some random gameplays, like Among Us gameplay when I play with my friends. I'll probably upload some of that. So maybe some Siege funny moments type shit. But anyways, that's the fucking video. Have a great goddamn day. If you're seeing this, it'll be a Monday. I love you. If you need help, get it. Uh, donate to Breast Cancer Awareness for this month. If you can, wear pink. If you can't. And have a great fucking day. I love you.